welcome to the American Dream TV Selling Sacramento, a city known for its diverse food scene, tree-lined streets, and beautiful rivers. I'm your host, Nick Street. In today's episode, we're gonna take you all around the area to show you what Sacramento has to offer, real estate, lifestyle, and culture. Stay tuned for this episode of the American Dream Selling Sacramento. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial-free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. are here at American Dream TV, Northern California. My name is Carmen Gargani, I'm your host, and today we are showcasing some amazing estates that you won't want to miss here in Serrano Country Club in El Dorado Hills. Come on in, let's have a look. with Jordan Treveri. She is the representative of the builder. She's gonna share a little bit about what makes this home so custom. So tell me, what's a unique feature about this home that we won't wanna miss? First and foremost would be the acreage. You are situated on just under five acres in Serrano, which is actually really rare um, to be on your own gated estate. Why did the builder choose Serrano as a place to start building? The lifestyle. I mean, the location of being minutes from Folsom Lake, minutes from being able to be on the course, the country club, the hiking, the trails, Tahoe, and downtown Sacramento. You can't really get much better than that. Right? Yeah. So what does a home like this go for? So right now we're based more between 4.2 to 4.6, kind of on some of the comps that are around. Mm -hmm. It's fully custom. So you right. have fully landscaped backyard, a citrus grove, all of the music and the lighting also goes throughout the backyard. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, you have the chef's entertaining kitchen with this custom steel hood, custom wine room, and all custom lighting. So. Right. Awesome, I love it. Well, let's go take a tour of this beautiful estate. Not only is this home located behind the Village Garden Gates, it is one of the few with an expansive 400-foot driveway and private steel security gate. The potential to house up to seven cars with lift in the garage makes this perfect for any car collector, RV, or boat enthusiast. This home features top-of-the-line 4K security cameras and audio system throughout the entire interior and exterior, including the garage and landscape's grounds. The kitchen is designed with top-of-the-line black stainless modernist appliances from Decor, including two dishwashers, two sinks, three chef ovens, quartz countertops, custom rolled steel wrapped hood, and custom glossy wine display. You will see exquisite custom lighting features that complement the space, creating a warm and inviting feel while showcasing the 12 foot to 20 foot ceilings. Unwind in the spa inspired primary bath while stargazing through the skylights above. The retractable glass sliding doors and outdoor kitchen with covered patios are perfect for enjoying those nights by the pool or any of the outdoor entertaining areas, including the citrus grove, grassy play area, and oversized gated dog run. Now that we've seen this modern masterpiece, let's head down the street to the Italian style villa. Colorado Hills is one of the top 100 places to live with its premium schools, scenic trails, and gorgeous wineries. But here's what I love about it, that each home in Serrano is uniquely different, and this one you won't want to miss. Breathtaking sunrises and sunsets overlooking Folsom Lake from almost every room of this immaculate single-story Italian-inspired villa. Enjoy your morning cup of Italian roast coffee or an evening glass of fine wine as you stroll through your private vineyard in your backyard. 19-foot vaulted ceilings are highlighted with beautiful chandeliers. 
The stone accent walls and unique cedar wood beams further highlight the beauty and unique style of this home. Brazilian quartz countertop island in the center of the kitchen with quality stainless steel appliances. We've got Sub-Zero, Bosch, Wolf, Decor, and Thermador. The hickory floors and terracotta tiles throughout the house really make this home unique. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of American Dream TV. If you want your home or business featured on our next episode, reach out. We'd love to help. Truckee, California is a vibrant mountain community steeped in railroad history and home to some of the most inspirational people I've ever met. Truckee is the place to be if you love the outdoors, music, art, and want to be surrounded by people that will push you and help you live your best life. My name's Dave Westall, the host of The American Dream, and today we'll be touring downtown Truckee. We'll meet with an award-winning luxury home builder and tour an inspired Martis Camp Luxury Estate. Located in the heart of the Sierra Nevada, Truckee, California is just north of Lake Tahoe, offering mesmerizing beauty and year-round recreation opportunities. Truckee has a vibrant art scene, exceptional dining opportunities, and you can catch live music almost every day of the week. In Truckee, it's all about lifestyle, and this mountain community is passionate about the outdoors and celebrating each day. Historically, Brickell Town is where timber and railroad workers lived, and it's made up of 48 properties. With a rich history in timber and development, it's no wonder that Brickell Town is home to Daniel Frame and Construction. Dan, this is an amazing office. Super excited to be here today and learn more about Daniel Frame and Construction. Tell us uh, about your journey. Yeah, Dave, happy to share. Um, I moved here 18 years ago, chasing the lifestyle, mountain biking, skiing, all the things you love about Lake Tahoe, and started this company 10 years ago. In the beginning, I was a one-man band, writing the checks and licking the stamps and sweeping the garages and doing everything. And as we celebrate our 10th anniversary this year, which we're very proud of, we have over 60 employees, projects all around the lake in both California and Nevada, throughout Truckee. Uh, we put a lot of love and hard work into every one of our projects. Yeah, you guys, uh, I've met quite a few of your employees over the years and uh, some really inspiring people that work super hard and uh, put a lot of passion into what they do. Yeah, I think that's really a rewarding part of this business that I never anticipated is the employees and how much joy I get seeing them be successful in their jobs and their excitement coming to work every day and watching us work through very challenging projects and see clients be happy and build amazing homes that are award-winning and really it's very rewarding for me and, and for all of our employees. It's magical. It's really cool what you guys are doing. Yeah, the relationships that we build uh, with our clients, vendors, subcontractors, all the employees and everybody who's involved in the process really is the, the pearl at the end of the day, the jewel that is the most cherished, I think, for me. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, we look forward to heading over to Martis Camp and touring one of your homes that uh, just won a Mountain Home Award, so that's gonna be very special for us. This is an amazing house, Dan. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure, Dave. So uh, you might not believe it, but this house is actually a modular built home. And wow. we do quite a bit of modular construction. Uh, and that's a technique where a portion of the house is built off site and transported here via truck. And then we assemble the pieces like giant Lego blocks. It can save a bunch of time. Um, this house I love. It's got some super cool features inside, lots of glass, and it's a really cool modern home. Let's go in. As I walk into this place, I'm just blown away by these amazing finishes and just you know, for a modern home, the warmth and the beauty this house exudes. Yeah, this house was a real joy to build. It's got so many cool features. I love the stairwell here with the big light fixture. This great room and fireplace is such an amazing space. 
Uh, like I said before, it's hard to imagine this is actually a modular home um, with this kind of volume and just size of all the spaces. Thanks for joining me in Truckee, California. It was a pleasure to meet with Daniel Freeman Construction to learn about their business and what makes them the best of Truckee. I always enjoy showing off my town, touring luxury homes, and I hope you enjoyed it. Join me next time on the American Dream as we explore more of North Lake Tahoe and Truckee and the people that make this place unique. historic town of Auburn just outside of Sacramento featuring all of the amazing things that there are to do here and why you would want to choose to live here. I'm Amanda Todd with the American Dream Selling Sacramento. There's never a shortage of things to do here year round. From festivals, to farmers markets, to sporting events, there is something for everyone here in this darling town. This area just north of Sacramento is rich with California history, dating back to the gold rush. Auburn is still the county seat for Placer County, which is one of the most populated counties in Sacramento area, but you would never know it when you were here. I'm here today with a local resident who is also a transplant to the area, Jim Bledsoe. Thanks for being here today, Jim, I appreciate it. Hi Amanda, thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about what made you choose this area to relocate to. Well, I think one of the initial draws for me was the outdoor recreation that's uh, in the Auburn area. Um, one of the first ways I found out about Auburn is it's the finish line for one of the races that I've been really interested in, which is one of the most iconic ultra marathons in the world, the Western States 100. Wow. So is that like a 100 mile race that you run here? Uh, yeah, it is. It actually goes from the Squaw Valley up in the Tahoe area all the way down to Auburn to the Sierra Nevadas. Wow, that's pretty amazing. What else drew you to this area besides that? What else is there to do here? Well, like I mentioned, there's just a plethora of, of outdoor recreation activities, whether it's rock climbing, mountain biking, hiking, kayaking. And there's so much to do around here. We work so hard these days and it's wonderful to be able to have um, something that you can do on your off time. You can play hard on the weekends. Definitely, and it sounds like there's really things you can do year round here, right? Absolutely, I mean, from where we're at right now, we're less than an hour from a ski resort. I can be at a beach in two hours down in the Bay Area. Um, like I said, 10, 15 minutes from where we're at right now. There's fantastic world-class mountain biking trails. So there's really um, something for everyone, whether your adventure's big or small, Auburn has it for you. Great, well, here we have it. There's many reasons for anyone to love this area. Come see it today, the historic town of Auburn in Placer County, just outside of Sacramento. Thanks for taking a walk with me through this darling historic town. Join me next time on Selling Sacramento, where we feature more areas in the Sacramento area that you definitely do not want to miss. Welcome to Selling Sacramento. We're your hosts, Becky Ronsby and Michaela Johnson. We are going to show you around the greatest American little town of Galt, California. Today we want to take you to one of our favorite spots in Galt, the Coffee Shop Bakery. Come on in. We're here today at the Coffee Shop Bakery with Sean Farmer. He and his wife own this place in Galt. 
And we just wanted to check it out. We love coming here. And can you share with us uh, why Gall and what makes this place so awesome? Well, uh, my wife and I uh, are three and four generations from Galt. Our parents grew up here and my wife and I did as well. And my wife had a bakery about 10 years ago and, and our children were young at the time. So we actually sold that business and took a break from it. And then now that we're older and our kids are grown, we decided to uh, do something again. And we brought back some of our famous recipes like our coffee cake and some of the other items that we're known for and uh, brought it together with the coffee shop. So not only are you the owner of the coffee shop, but you're up to something else in Galt too. You're our mayor of our great American little town. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I was elected to city council in 2018 and I'm currently serving out my second term as mayor. I talk to people every day, especially in my elected position, and one thing I can tell you is that everybody either stayed in Galt, lives in Galt, or comes to Galt from other places because of the small town charm. And we have a, we have a big uh, dairy history here too, so we were originally an ag town, so um, a lot of the things we do are kind of talk about dairy and things like that. So speaking of the dairy, you got to talk to us about the cows. Oh yes, the cows. So this was a program that the Galt Chamber of Commerce started. Uh, it was intended to promote uh, tourism and local businesses and uh, the arts. Uh, local businesses were allowed to sponsor a cow and then have a local artist or someone that they wanted to decorate the cow to either advertise their business specifically. It is fun. We have ours in front of our building. You can't imagine the looks like people maybe that don't know that all these are down here. It's pretty cool. Thank you so much, Sean, for your time sharing your awesome coffee shop bakery with us. We really enjoy coming here, not only today, but um, every morning to get our coffee and coffee cake. We're here at the fishery in Galt, the headquarters of one of six farms owned by the Beer family. We really appreciate you guys having us today. Thanks for having us. This is my dad, Ken, my mom, Lori. I'm Zach, and we'll be taking you on a tour of the fishery. So Zach, why Galt? What makes this such a great place for your fish farm? Uh, it's a great place for our species. We, we do white sturgeon, we do bass, we do carp. We do catfish and it's an environment that's conducive for those four species. We started off, none of us knew what we were doing, what not, but we learned and, and really that's how it started. The property did get developed and at that time, of course, uh, I would have been out of a job, but I was able to purchase some property here in Galt and then uh, really transferred the inventory of fish and that's where it started. Okay, Zach, so there's a couple questions people want to know or we want to know maybe. So what is the timeline from eggs Tell, tell the sale. Well, for three of our species, it's about roughly 18 months for our catfish, our bass, our carp. If you're talking about our Pacific white sturgeon, it can be anywhere up to 12 years um, before that you sell them. That is insane. When they leave this farm in a truck live, how soon is it on our dinner plate? It can be on our dinner plate that same day. It goes into a live market where Somebody can purchase it and they could be eating it the same day that it leaves their farm. That's, that's awesome. So a real farm to fork right here in Galt, California. You're getting into a purge tank for a bunch of prehistoric Pacific white sturgeon. All right, are you guys ready to go in? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Kaylee Sanchez and I am your host today in one of my favorite places in the world, historic downtown Truckee. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to Cassie Habel, the director of the Downtown Merchants Association here in the historical Truckee downtown row. Cassie, what is some of your favorite things about being the director and having this whole historical area um, come to life? You know, some of my favorite things are just being a part of the business community and promoting mm -hmm. 
Um, the idea of being a good ambassador to our, our locals and our visitors. The thing that I really enjoy the most is that people just really enjoy and love what they do. This is my favorite store in downtown Truckee, the cooking gallery, because I love to entertain and I love being in the kitchen and I know I can find anything that I want here. And now let's go meet the owner, Mike. So Mike, I really want everyone to hear about how long your family has owned the cooking gallery and like what really sparked them to open up this beautiful store that you know I love so much. Well, um, we started the business 45 years ago, wow. uh, my father and my mother in Tahoe City. Oh, and the okay. idea was really born in my uh, French grandmother's kitchen. I mean, that's where we gathered, Love that's that. where the family was always meeting and cooking. The cooking gallery really emanates that, you know, when you walk in the door, well, people you. feel welcomed. You're so good at just like listening and then you can really help them find exactly what they need. Absolutely. Well, I know I love it. I know my clients love it. And I know everyone that walks in that door really feels like they are special. And so thank you so much for just being exactly who you are. Well, thank you. Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Alicia Barr, who is an icon in Truckee, and she is the visionary and owner of 5050 Brewing Company, which is one of my favorite places. My husband and I are former engineers. One day we both just said, like, let's go do something we love in a place that we love, and moved up to Truckee. This was back in 2005. You know, we've loved every minute of it. Uh, about two years after we opened this place, um, we opened Drunken Monkey right next door. Um, our second favorite thing to beer is sushi. Um, mm. Hired a fantastic sushi chef to get that off the ground for us, and that's been just awesome. Um, and then had many opportunities to expand our beer down in the Reno area for a full production facility for a long time, but we really, we love Truckee. This, we moved here for a reason. It has such a heart. Again, that's why we moved to Truckee, this overwhelming sense of community. I'm so happy to welcome you to the La Hontan Golf Club community and one of my favorite listings. As soon as you walk in the door, you will really feel how expansive it is. There are floor to ceiling windows, all this beautiful natural sunlight that comes through here. And this one, we're right on the golf course. It's private, there's a gated community here. And this home in particular has an amazing kitchen, so many places for people to sit and you can really entertain huge groups of people here or just feel really intimate as well with yourself and your family. And as this is my favorite portion of the house, I truly love this gorgeous fireplace. I couldn't think of a better place to end our tour today than this penthouse on Lake Tahoe. It is just stunning and you will be amazed by the views. And it has four bedrooms and three baths, so room for everybody. With the high ceilings, you just really get to capture the fullness of all of the lake and how tranquil it is, and you will never want to leave. Thank you so much again for joining me in Truckee and Lake Tahoe. I'm your host, Kylie Sanchez, for the American Dream TV show, and I cannot wait to see you for the next episode. I'm walking through what's known as the Downtown Commons here in Sacramento. Before we check out what the Doco has to offer, I'm gonna give you behind the scenes access to one of the most innovative companies in sports and entertainment. Not only is it the home of the Sacramento Kings, but they have been ranked sixth worldwide for Polestar in 2021. My name is Jenna Deacon, I'm your host, and this is Selling Sacramento. We are here in one of the first 21st century coliseums. We have a special guest with us today. He is the president of operations, Mr. John Reinhardt. Hi, John. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thanks for being here with us today. Now tell me, since opening in 2016, you guys have set a new standard for excellence in this arena. Tell me a little bit more about that. 
Yeah, you know, this arena's been great. You know, Vivek Ranadive, our owner, his vision was always to build this arena in the downtown core of our city. So he really thought that that would be the catalyst of growth for our region. And so we built something that people from all over the region can come down and really enjoy world-class arts, entertainment, food. So it's really been great. I love it, I love it. And you guys have also almost acquired this nickname, uh, a giant Tesla. What, what is that about? Yes, Wired Magazine called us the giant Tesla. Really, it's just because this building itself sets a standard for technology for arenas around the world. We're the most technologically advanced arena, and really what that comes to is really the connectivity that the arena has. And it gives us the ability to plug in those technologies that help for fan experience and just create wonderful memories with the technology. Now also, Sacramento is known as the farm to fork capital, and this arena has definitely played their part in uh, being a part of that. Yeah, the Sacramento region is really proud of that moniker, the farm to fork capital, and when we were building the building, we wanted to make sure that the building reflected the region. So we did a program where we've committed to have 90% of all food and drink that is consumed within this building comes from within 150 miles of the building, which is really unprecedented and it's something that we're really proud of. And so it's really supporting both health and also the economy. We are very Sacramento proud as fans. Can you tell our viewers what to expect when visiting this amazing arena? Yeah, you know, Sacramento proud is what this region is all about. You know, people are very proud to live here and what the Kings represent. So when fans come here, they can expect to make lifelong memories. They can expect a place where they meet brand new friends, lifelong friends, and there's something for everybody down here. So we're here just trying to create memories and enjoy what Sacramento has to offer. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Let's go check out uh, what the arena has to offer. Sounds good. I hope you all enjoyed that behind the scenes tour with me. We're gonna go meet some friends and check out what the Doko has to offer. The Golden One Center and Doko stand as an experience center featuring world-class entertainment, art, food, and activities for all ages. The combined development has created jobs locally and serving as a major catalyst for the revitalization of downtown. Since May of 2014, downtown property sales have totaled nearly 6.4 billion. Since opening in 2016, Golden One Center and Doco have become the heart of downtown Sacramento. Whether you're meeting family, friends, or entertaining out-of-town guests, there is something here for everyone to enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all enjoyed this exclusive tour of the Golden One Center Arena and the beautiful Sacramento Downtown Commons. This is American Dream TV. My name is Jenna Deacon and this is Selling Sacramento. Until next time. Thanks for watching this episode of the American Dream TV Selling Sacramento. I'm your host, Nick Street, and I hope you've enjoyed watching our local real estate experts show you their neighborhoods. We'll catch you next time, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Cheers to the American Dream. American Dream TV is a chance for America to hear from small business owners and big dreamers, local leaders and trendsetters, tastemakers and upshakers, the men and women, young and old, and every ethnicity and different perspective of this country we share. We are the American Dream TV, and together we are changing the world of television. Do you know my name?